This is a quick start lesson for the Artistic Edge Digital Cutter and Simple Cut software. You want to open the box and make sure that you remove the protective material from inside the cutter. Your mats, your software, and the user guide are in the box. You want to open your user guide and follow the instructions for connecting and setting up your cutter. Make sure that you've removed the black plastic sleeves from underneath the roller. You'll have a blade holder and a vial containing three different blades, each for cutting different materials. There's a great material chart inside the user guide. For this lesson, I'm going to use a medium weight cotton fabric, and you'll want to apply your favorite fusible to the back that you use for applique. Mine has a paper backing, and I iron it onto the back of my cotton. I'll use the yellow capped blade and the high tack mat. For a blade setting, since I have a fusible adhesive, I'm going to use four. And for a pressure setting, I'll start out at 100. I apply my fabric with the fusible on the back to the high tack mat. Load the mat into the machine using the arrows on the cutter hat. The upper arrow will move the mat backwards and the lower arrow will move the mat forwards. Install your Creative Drawing Simple Cut software. Make sure that you are online during your install and the activation key is printed inside of your user guide. Open up your Simple Cut software. The first dialog is for fabric and background selection. We don't need to select a fabric because we'll be working only with outline stitches and applique, but select the color of your choice for a background and select next. We're not importing artwork, embroidery, or photographs, so place a bullet in new graphic to get a new blank workspace and select finish. To create applique lettering, select the edit text icon and click in an empty area of the workspace. Type the lettering of your choice and use the drop down font menu to select any of the fonts on your hard drive. Make sure the font is nice and thick and appropriate for applique. To change the size of the font, select the rectangle select icon. The cursor changes as you move over the lettering. Positioning the cursor in the lower right indicates rotate. Moving the cursor just inside the corner of the lettering, I get a resize cursor. I can click, hold down, and drag to proportionally scale my lettering. If I would like a more precise lettering adjustment, you can read always the width and the length when the item is selected. Come up to Tool Options, and for width, I'm going to type 5, and keep my proportional scaling, and Enter. I now have 5-inch applique lettering. If I'd like to select Color for Outline and for Fill, I come down to the lower palette. Each color chip has the option for Outlining and for Fill Color. I'll select a darker color for the outline by clicking the upper left-hand portion of the color chip. To select a lighter color for the fill, I'm going to select the lower right hand portion of another color chip. Now that I've colored and resized the lettering, I'll select from one of the running stitches for my applique. Click on any of the stitches of your choice. Use the scroll down to select. I'm going to select stitch number 94, and I notice that the stitch faces the wrong direction for my applique, so I'll place a check mark to mirror the style. To change the size of the applique stitching, put a check mark in length and type the appropriate size and enter on the keyboard. Once you have a stitch that you like for your lettering, Select in Object Properties the Fill tab. Select Applique. The software now automatically creates the running lines where I can place those cut letters and the applique stitching that I have selected will affix those letters to the fabric. The design can now be saved for stitch out on the embroidery machine of your choice by going to File, drop down to Save As, and select the correct file format for your machine. Save your design to your computer or USB stick for use on your machine. Select Save. Our design is now ready to send to the cutter. Select File and in the drop down menu, Export to Crystal's Cutter. Select the cutter of your choice. I'm going to select the Artistic Edge USB. You'll first want to do a test cut. 
use the arrows on the front of the cutter head and move the blade to a, a corner position of your material that you won't be using for the applique. Once the blade is positioned, select Test. The cutter will cut nine small holes. Move the mat so that you can lift the fabric and check the accuracy of the cut. If it was not adequate, adjust the blade pressure and the depth of the blade until you have an accurate test cut. Now we can position the blade for the actual cutting of the material. You want to pay attention to the start position of the blade. Use the arrows to position. For this, I would move my blade into the lower left area that I would like my applique fabric to be cut. I can trace the cutting area. Select Trace. If you need to fine tune, now use the arrows in the software dialog and you can fine tune the position. If you use a control or shift key while selecting one of the arrows in the dialog, you can achieve small, large, or even with control and shift, very small position steps to get exactly where you need to be to cut your fabric. Once you have an adequate trace and test, select cut. Your fabric will cut and lift a little bit of your fabric to test the accuracy of the cut. If you did not achieve an accurate cut, replace the fabric and run cut one more time. Your pre-cut applique pieces are now ready to be applied to the applique design. On your machine, open up the file that was saved earlier and stitch color one onto your project. This provides the outlining to place each one of the pre-cut letters. Place the letters into the outlines, and when that's completed, the next color stop of the design may be skipped. This was for use with non-pre-cut pieces. Stitch the last color stop of the design, which is the running stitch which was selected in the software to apply your applique. Your project is now completed.